Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to rip DVDs on your Mac. So, yeah, we're going to be ripping this DVD right here. It's Friends um, Disc 2 Season 4. Right now on my Mac, I am in the process of ripping the entire show. Because I went to a thrift store and I found the box set from 1 through 5. And then another box set from 6 through 10. So, um... I'm currently in the process of ripping them all to my computer, so I don't need a disk drive to read them. And, um, please, 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 please don't use this for piracy, alright? Like, it's not cool. Please don't use this for piracy. But, um, yeah. I mostly just use this so I don't have to have my DVD drive connected all the time. And I can just use it. And I, so it's, I also do this so I can access um, the DMG files from my phone, so I can watch it on my phone as well. But please, please, please do not distribute it. It's very illegal, and you can get arrested, so yeah. Season disc, uh, uh, disc two, season four. That's the one I'm on right now. DVDs, friends all seasons. Okay, here's all my seasons. Um, I have DVD one right now. So... The way you're going to do this is you're going to insert your disc, of course. Make sure it's read by the computer. And um, it's going to automatically open up the viewer. But No, please don't. Please don't kill me, Warner Brothers. Okay. You'll want to open up Disc Utility. Oh my god, it's really far away. You want to open up Disc Utility. And you'll want to go to your external right here. It'll look something like this. And then you'll want to click on... Well, first click on here. And then click on File. New Image and then new image from whatever the disk is. So now you save it wherever you want. I'd recommend you change the name because you can't recognize what that name is. So I'm gonna save it to the desktop, DVDs, Friends All Seasons, Season 4, Disc 2. So I'm gonna name it DVD 2, because it's in Season 4. So I'm gonna rename it and then press, I wanna press save. And, um. Usually, because friends discs are like like that, that's bigger than a regular DVD. So uh, usually, every single disc takes about an hour. So uh, expect this to take a little while. It will usually take a very very long time. But uh, yeah, I have this season three disc four, or I have, um, I have season four disc three on standby. Uh, after this one finishes, but, uh, yeah. Um, this, expect this to take a while. This could take hours. Most of the time it takes about an hour and 30 minutes. So, yeah. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm not gonna make this video that long. I'm not gonna make you stare at that loading bar for all that time. Also, you should hear the DVD drive spin up. If it itself uh, spin up, then that's good. What it will look like... You will also need, look, every time you want to load these DMG files, you need to load them with VLC player. Because the DVD, um, the DVD app built into your Mac will not read it as a DVD. So, uh, let me go, here's, this is not the, this is not the American version of the office with Michael and Scott and stuff. This is the UK one that I also found at the thrift store as a box set. And, yeah. Okay, so... Friends all seasons. Let's just go to season one, disc one. It's a DMG file, just like if you were to install an application. Um, double click on it to um, open it. It is not appearing. I pro it's probably here somewhere, I just don't see it. Um, Okay, it is not opening. Or is it under one of these windows? It probably is. Okay, no, I guess not. So, sometimes that just happens, but what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to drag and drop the um, DMG file into VLC. And then it'll be just like if you inserted the DVD. Now you can select the episode. Oh god, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. You got the idea. You get the idea. Um So, uh, yeah. So that is how you get all the episodes with this. Also, pretty please do not use this 
for for uh, pirating. Please do not use this for pirating. I beg of you. Because this could be used for pirating, but please do not use it for pirating. Um, I only use it so I don't have to have a DVD, DVD drive connected all the time when I want to view a DVD. So I can just copy it onto my computer. <sighs> and also, that I can move my computer freely without being... without If I move this while it's copying, then it could really seriously ruin it. I also like to keep this open. Yeah, this is going to take a while. But, um, yeah. Just close this. Oh, and also, expect the discs to be stupidly large. Like, my entire DVD... I only have... I have Inside Out and Shrek Forever after my movies folder. I have the two discs. DVD 2, for some reason, is 2 gigs. This is 8. 10 gigs. And then this is, like, 50. It's, like, 70-something. I don't even know. But if I go into Get Info... It's 108 gigabytes. That's, like, a, that's like a tenth of my entire hard drive. So, um... Um, just know this is going to take a stupid amount of space on your computer, so maybe I'd recommend getting, like, an SD card or something specifically for this purpose. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that is how you do it. Bye, guys.